Busy Littles. I'm Kirsten. I'm McKenna. And you are? Eight. Eight. And Busy Littles is brought to you by? McDonald's Heavenly Recreation District through Het through Healthy Child. Good job. So today's session, you are going to need some cups. We have, McKenna, how many cups do we have? Six. We have six. As long as you have five, you're good. Any cups work. We have kids Ikea's cups. You can use red solo cups as long as they are not breakable cups. You can use them. What else do we need? Stuffies. Stuffies, just one or two. You don't need a ton of stuffies. Just a few to have on hand and some cups because that's what our um, session will be about today. So are we ready to get started? Let's back up and do our warm-ups. Bowser can stay over there, can I? Aww. All right, let's start like we always do with sky toes. Hands up to the sky and reach all the way up. Oh, up, get up, 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 up. Try to reach far, far, far. And down to our toes and up to the sky and down to our toes. And ready? We're going to go a little faster. Sky. Oh, we're still in the sky. Sky, toes, sky, toes, sky. Toes, let's go super slow. Ready? Sky. Let's go slow, you monkeys. Slow. Toes, I almost said slow. Toes, can a little bit quicker. Sky. Toes. Sky, now we went super slow. Do you think we could go mega fast? Yeah. You think so? Okay, let's try, ready? All the way up to the sky and take a big breath. Sky, toes, sky, toes, sky, toes, sky, toes, sky, toes, sky. Okay, now we're going to get down and crouch into a little ball. And we're going to be a C. And we're going to turn into a, what do we usually turn into? Tree. A tree. And what does a tree need to grow? Water and sunshine. Water and, and sunshine. Soil. So. We're being watered and we have so much sunshine and you start to wiggle around in your seed until you bust out of that seed Whew. and you start growing bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and higher and higher oh my gosh look how big these trees are and then our our feet are our roots so they are planted sturdy and they do not move but we have all these branches and the wind is coming are you ready the wind is so strong the wind is crazy, but our feet don't move because they're planted. And the wind is so crazy, and it turns us all around. We can't turn all around. Oh, this is my favorite. It feels so nice. Oh, and the wind slows down, and the branches don't move as much. But the wind is coming back. Oh, my favorite one. We can do this the whole time. Okay. Whew. And shake it all out. And this time we're going to try something new. We are going to lie down. If your adult is around, you can do it with your adult. And we're going to have a foot fight. But first, we're going to lie on our back and put your feet up in the air against the other person's feet. And let's reach all the way up. Can I your feet all the way up? And then go all the way down. And all the way back up. And all the way back down. And then we're going to go up. We're going to have a foot fight. Ready? Oh, oh. Like we're kicking, but we're not going to kick the other person. <laughs> Kenna, where are you going? Come back a little bit. There we go. And don't kick the other person. Like only in the feet. Yeah, only not in the feet. You're just, you're not even really kicking. You're just pushing against their feet. So you're not even really doing much. McKenna's just doing it. <laughs> oh, and one more. Okay. Are we ready to get rolling? Yes. All right. I would like all my friends to find their cups. So what we are going to do first, however big your space is, I want you to put all your cups upside down at the back of your space. Our space, just leave them there. Our space is not very big, but that's perfect to show you. So what we are going to do is first, we are going to take a cup, take a cup, I'll take one too. And we're just gonna walk all we're gonna walk all the way over to you guys and put our cup right by our device that we're watching on. So you can do that too. And we're gonna put our cup all the way down. That was an extreme close-up, and we're gonna walk all the way back. Yep. You got another cup? Yep. Go ahead. Oh, thanks. Got orange. And all the way back. 
All right, another extreme close up and down. Yeah, I'll fix, can I? Oh, I almost got two. I walk all the way back. Now I want you to race back to the other side and sit down. Oh. All right, but now we're sitting down super far away from our cups and all of our cups are over there by our devices. But we can only carry one cup at a time. So last time we walked, what should we do this time? Run. Run. Okay. So when we stand up, we're going to, not yet, when we stand up, we're going to run and grab one cup, just one. And we're going to bring the cup all the way back to the far end of our space and put one cup down and go run back. We're going to go so fast back and forth. Okay. So let's stand up. How many cups are we going to get again? Three. What? Well, thank you. Nine. I heard my friends up there. One cup. Just one cup at a time. Are we ready? Stretch it all out. Your marks. Kind of back it up. Get set, go. You get one cup. And back. And back. Oh, you took your whole pile. Oh no, I dropped my cup. Oh my gosh. Got it. Oh, I oh, up and sit down. Okay. This time, let's stack all of our cups. Together. If you take a little bit longer, that's okay. And if you're a little bit faster than us, then that's okay too. So this time we walked and we ran. No, let's try to balance them on that pile. That's our next activity. First, we are going to try crawling back and forth. So if you have little brothers or sisters, you know how to crawl on your hands and knees. We're going to crawl on our hands and knees. So we're going to take one cup. Yeah. And go and crawl all the way over and leave just one cup and back. I have bad knee, so I am not very quick at this. Look how fast you guys are going. And all the way. Got it. Ouch. Last cup. Oh. Oh. And back. All right. You guys are much quicker than I am. All right. We are going to do one more very silly activity like that. But this time we are going to try rolling, but I have something to make it even harder. We can't touch our hands on the cup. You can at first. So watch, you stay right here. And friends, you watch how we're going to do it. If we can't use our hands, but we need to get our cups from one end to the other, and there are cups from our house mouth we can put them in our mouth like this or grab them with our feet uh you could but it's hard to crawl with something in your feet oh so yeah. i want you to pick up your cups in your teeth like this that's yours and crawl back and forth you think we can do that uh -huh. it'll be super silly you can touch the cups to put them in your mouth are you ready mark it set go <laughs> remember just use your teeth in your mouth like this. And put them down. <laughs> One cup at a time, friends. One cup at a time. Oh, you're trying your feet. <laughs> and you know what's even harder? See if you can stack them when you get over here like this. Oh, it's tricky. Here you go. One more cup. And you can use your arms and bounce. You can as long as you're not using your hands. Whew. All right. We are going to take the cups that we have. McKenna, we're going to couple up so our friends can see us. And we are going to try something else with our cups. We are going to balance with our cups. Oh, my shirt's all funky. Yeah. We are going to balance with our cups. We're going to start off easy. So this might be tricky if you have really big, giant cups. It might be a little bit tricky, or if you have teeny tiny baby cups, that might be tricky too. All right, we're gonna put our, see this? This is called the palm of our hand. So I want you to put your palm up like this and put the cup in your hand. And don't do it like this. No, then you can do it like that. that. It's okay, you could, however you want. You could do it like this, you could do it sideways, however you want. Now, can we move our hand around? Do you think? We could try standing up with the sure. cup in our hand. Ooh. It's easy. Oh, whoa, whoa. And if the cup falls, no problem. Just pick it up and try again. Let's
let's try walking around with our cup. And see, my hand is nice and flat, but I could cheat a little bit and go like this and cup it, cup the cup. That would be okay too. Or you could keep it like this. Let's walk around all over the space. All right, we got this one. Let's come back to sitting down. Let's try balancing this cup on our head. We think we can do it on our head. Why, madam, you have a lovely pussy hat. You could put it right on top of your pony and it wouldn't budge. All right. <laughs> Can you think you can move all around? Oh, I spy lots of cups falling. That's okay, let's try. Now that we got it kind of steady, it's, whoo! Well, did mine fall? Nope, not yet. Let's see if we can stand up balancing this cup on our head. You gotta go so, oh! Oops, I get another cup. If you don't do it, just keep trying. You just gotta go slow like a snail. And if you go so fast, oh look, I look like a unicorn. <laughs> So, with your ginormous oh, forehead. I'll be cracking. Yes, with my ginormous forehead. Thank you, McKenna. So helpful. And see if you can walk around. See, I have my knees bent, so I'm nice and low. Oh! And you see how McKenna and I both dropped our cups? We're just going to keep trying. Well, that's a good one. And it goes so slow. And I'm going to... Oh, oh, lost a cup. All right. Now we are going to try, what are these things called again? Shoulders. Shoulders. Do you think oh. we can balance a cup on our shoulders? Let's try. If it's too easy for you, try two. But I'm just going to start with one. And the, actually, you know what? Before we even start with our cup, let's put our hand all the way out like this and then put your cup up. And you can even go like this and use your head so the cup won't move anywhere. And then try to slowly, remember super slow is the trick. Stand, oh, I almost lost it. Stand up. I walk all around your space. Kenny, you're doing two cups? Yeah. And try to walk all around your space with your shoulder cup, or your cup shoulder. Oh. Kind of having some technical difficulties keeping the cups on her shoulders. Just try one. If two is too hard, just do one. You go nice and slow. I can, no, oh, can't go fast. Cannot go fast. All right, we're gonna try something tricky. What are these ones called again? Oh, I just heard somebody knees. say our knees. Maybe I should turn sideways so you can see. Let's put a cup on our knee. Oh, we are not gonna walk like this. Either. We're not gonna walk like this. It would be too tricky. But if you can try, you can put your hands behind you and see if you can, oh, I can't get it. Let's see. Just experimenting, seeing how far we can balance. Or maybe if I can't even get up, I'm just going to lift my foot. Can you see that my foot is lifted off the ground? Can I straighten my knee? Just barely. I think it's my pants holding it up. Try it with your cup. Let's see. Yeah, my pants are really holding it up. It helps to have a bum knee for this because it's so swollen. It's staying up fine. Oh, look. See, you had it. Yeah, you were very close to having it. That was a good job. All right, we're gonna try one other thing. Try whichever, if you have different colors of cups. Oh, can I get it back up so our friends can see? Let's choose a color. Which color should we use? Pink. Pink. Any of our games, if you want to make them harder, your adults can call out a color, especially if you're just learning colors. You can say, go find me the yellow, and then you can go find yellow. That's an extra little educational tip. All right, we're going to play hot potato. So you will need an adult just for a few seconds to come play with you or another kid too, that works too. So we're just going to lightly throw it and catch it. We're not gonna throw like this. This is called overhand. That would hurt our friend that we're playing with. We're just gonna throw like this. So Kenna, actually, you know what? Before we try doing it to a partner, let's try it with ourselves. So crisscross applesauce and just try throwing it and catching it. Hot potato, hot potato. Catch me around. I know. We make up way. songs. That's what we do in our house. Hot potato, hot potato, catch me. Is it easier? Is it hard to catch a cup? Catch. And if it gets too hard or it gets too easy, then throw it up a little bit higher. All right, now that we're pros, now let's try with our partner. Kenny, you ready? I'm going to put my cup over here. Hot potato, hot potato. Yeah, and you don't need to sing a song, you can just go back and forth. Whoever I touch last 
will be. You're trying to make it so that I'm out. Potato head. Yeah. All right. <laughs> all right. One more time. Back. Pop. Potato. Okay. Stop. Stop. Pop. Let's potato. try two. Let's oh, try two. What? So, ready? Pop. Potato. Ooh. Potato. Oh. Catch me. And see, <laughs> the cups are falling all over the place. That's okay. Keep going. Just go try to go quick. Is Ugh. the last the I touch will be a unicorn. Okay. Stop. Head. All right. We are going to do one dip, another activity. I would like my friends, so McKenna, I'm going to get you to stack your cups however you like. Show them. You can stack it like this. So you might need to pause the video. You can stack them like this. Or can I, can you show the other way that you stacked? Because that was cool. So tell them how you're stacking it. So you put one cup, flip it over like that. Then the other, you put it like you're drinking on top of it. Then you put the upside down cup on top of the that one, and then you keep on going until you don't However have you want. This cup. is a great uh, motor skill, adults. And if it's tricky, you can always put like a book or something in the middle, so then it's a little bit easier to uh, to balance it. So now that we have it balanced, and if you are having some troubles, find your adult. Don't knock it over yet. Find your adult to come help. And this is where we're going to need our stuffies. So we're going to take. <laughs> Bowsy. Some stuffies. Ken, are you ready? Yeah. Back up a little bit. Back up, back up, back up. Oh. We don't want to be too close. Back Pants up a little bit. Tower. We are going to, because it's just cups and the cups are not going to break, we're going to try throwing our cups. Don't throw him yet because he's big, so he'll knock <laughs> it over. So I want you to try underhand like this. See how my hand goes under like this. We're gonna go under like that, and let's try to see if we can throw and knock over our cups. Okay, kind of don't throw yet, because I'm showing for an example, okay? So I missed a few times. My underhand throws, I missed all of my shots. I asked you to wait. But that's okay, because I'm just going to go get my stuffies and try again. So Kenna, I need you to stack it again. My pleasure. Yeah, I'm gonna stack it this time actually because we're going low. Well. So if you want to do it super fast, then get your adult. And you know what? This stuffy, this Bowser is so big, he's gonna knock it over every time. He's gonna knock the whole giant thing over and that's not as much fun. So the smaller the stuffy, the more tricky it is. Okay. Let's see. And if you're too close and you're getting it down every time, so McKenna comes down right back here, then back up and that makes everything harder. So I want you to underhand like this, Kenna. Oh, that was a good one. I spy one cup, try to get that last cup. Oh, without using Bowser. Okay, let's try with our cups again. Bowser's out of here. He's too easy. Oh, I know. Do that, the funky stack. Yeah. You can stack however you like. McKenna's taking a long time. You got it? Go ahead. Yeah. Ooh. And if you have lots of cups, you can do two different stacks and knock one over and then try to knock the other one over. Yeah. Kenna, you ready? Leave Bowser over there for the third time. He is too easy. All right, let's try. Uh -oh. And you guys can try standing up or sitting down. Oh, stop, my can I have another way, another silly way that we can try. Turn around so your tuchus is facing your cups and look through your legs. Oh, oh, here, Kevin, try this one. Oh, it's harder. Oh, we got it. Do a mop test. All right, lots of different activities we can do. So, that brings us to the end of our session today, but we have our closing activity. So for our closing activity, we have two different um, plans. It depends how old the kids are. So adults, this is for the adults. So 
one fun little activity that is stolen from the, the um, gym teacher at my kid's school. Um, if you turn off all the lights in the house and then time the kids, it's always fun to time the kids, um, to go turn on all the lights. This is for t older kids or kids that can reach them. Or if there's only two lights that they can reach, then just use those two lights. Or if our adults really want a workout, they can run behind the kids and lift them to each of the um, light switches. You're welcome, adults. And another one is for, this one is for anybody. You can take post-its or paper with um, tape, whatever works, and just post them if you wanna like keep it to a room or um, do it all over the house. Then I, what I would do is get my kids to like sit on a couch or sit on a room and not move out of that room. And you wanna put them so, um, they're really low and like I have I love you on here, but really it can say anything for my five-year-old who's learning um, His numbers I might say go find the D and then get him to there's tons of ways to make it harder So they can go find the letters to make it harder or the color For the younger ones or just the notes and then if you're so there's one down there So then they have to reach down to get it or if you want to do other ones instead of doing it <clears throat> And instead of doing them all where the kids will just run up and grab it, put them a little bit higher so that they'll have to one. jump up to get it. So don't make them all super easy. So this way, physical activity for everybody. And then whatever you make on your um, cards makes more learning with colors or numbers or letters or whatever it is you're working on. Or if you have pictures of animals, you can say... Go find me, I make this noise, moo! So you can make it as easy or hard as you want to. My kids with the light switch one, they're a little bit older, loved that one. And actually we had lots of fun doing that one too. Can I grab the uh, post-its? Where's the other one? And I find anytime we time it, things just, they get a little rowdy, but sometimes that's fun. Thanks for joining us today for Busy Bye -bye. Little Dolls. We'll see everybody next week. See ya.